Hello again, this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida. Those are my colors left over from yesterday. My cling rack got attached to the, um, to the paint surface. But I want to use it as a base for scoop. I've got scoops and another pan in case I want it. I've got a 10 by 20 inch canvas standing by and ready to go. Right back there. I'm going to let this dry. You can probably stamp that on something. It's really pretty. I'm going to put some more Indian spice in here. And since I do see that there is Royal Sapphire, I'll put a little bit more in there because I want something to scoop, be able to scoop out. Might as well use pretty much the same colors. There's some Fandango, which I wasn't expecting to use again, but I don't mind. And then I have, I believe it is Cerulean Blue. And I'm wondering how far this will go. This is Midnight Shadow. I will list the colors under the video and say if they are prism pour or primary elements. This is red violet. It's a vivid intense. This is Burmese red. This is a primary element that I need to open the top a little bit better on. is phalo turquoise. It's a vivid intense also. This is my jasmine, my favorite. Looks like I'm going to need some orange. That was blue velvet in there and I'm not sure if I'm going to put some more of that in there or not. I'm going to leave the Jasmine out because usually I want to go back. This is Snapdragon, one of my go to prism uh, primary elements. That in the corner was Big Apple. This is a primary element, Rhapsody Rose. I absolutely love this color. I think it's best served by having a little bit of Chantilly lace next to it, which also works well with the Jasmine. I don't want to go too crazy because I've got a white background. My canvas is pre-primed. Put that back where it was. My canvas is pre-primed with Artist Loft. It's been dry for a couple couple days. I'm going to throw a little bit more jasmine in there. And I think I'm going to risk going ahead with some of the saffron. Now if I get desperate, I can put some... You know what? I'm not going to wait till I get desperate. I'm going to use a sour lemon with orange crush in it. Right now. So it doesn't look like I need this other pan of colors. I kind of want a line of demarcation down the center to work off of. But I have some sidewalk chalk somewhere and I'm not sure where I put it. Go figure. All right, we'll just start in the middle and work our way out. There's one of my scoops made from packaging. Just trimmed it down. Here's another one I made with folded up craftastic paper. I'm going to wipe off my bottom as best I can. See if I can get it to go to the edge. I'm going to skip every one, other one, I think. My paint that was left behind is a little stickier than I was anticipating. 
I thought I had it sealed up really well. So I'm hoping if I go every other space, that I'll just be able to fill in. I hope I left room. I hope my head isn't obscuring your vision. I want some blue. Who knows what could happen down the middle. Ah, I got some paint on my canvas. Darn. I wonder how that happened. Hopefully it's not dripping off my finger. But the colors are wonderful. I think I should have skipped using reusing the paint. I'm going to have to wipe off my bottom, I can tell. Because there's paint on the edges and that's where that other paint is coming from. But, I do have a Q-tip. And because my painting is already primed in the background, I can spit on my Q-tip and pick up my residuals. try and get rid of that glop. That was too close. Well, I do use GAC 800 by Golden, so if the paint winds up heavy, it won't crack. And I am at this point just using my fingers. Oh, I want some blue in there. Clean up along the sides. I'm not cleaning my scoop out or anything. I'm going to just keep filling in in between, hopefully. Often I will make it up as I go along. I like that turquoise, so I'm kind of inclined to have some more. I could put a black stripe down in between them, but that might be kind of cool. I've got more Q-tips. Seems like a good thing. I'm not sure where those drops keep coming from. Wherever they are, I can't see it happen. So I'm not stopping it very well. And I am using my other finger to my left hand to clean the paint off. And it's still happening. Which means I'm going to look at my finger, <laughs> grab a clean Q-tip, up 
my faux pas. Seems to me it could really use this nice skinny little delivery tool scoop. That's kind of cool. I'm going to keep going. Wherever I can. And where I can't, I'll worry about that in the next stage. I'm going to want some more jasmine, I can tell. But I was kind of ready for that anyway. It's not exactly like I had in mind, but it's still okay. I'm going to throw that jasmine in there now. Maybe some more uh, saffron and possibly a little more sour lemon. Although I could put some yellow in there. I have no idea how long it really takes to do this, but we'll find out together. That one's going over the edge. I love the mix of colors. In this case, I want that turquoise at the bottom again. Well, that worked out even better than I expected, to tell you the truth, with the exception of that one little space at the end, <laughs> which might get some dots or something weird. Now I don't feel so bad about using up my leftover colors because they're not bad. They're working out. Well, I guess we'll see together when it when they dry. That was risky. I'm not sure there was enough paint in the scoop. But if I slow my roll and tip it up, it will help. Cross your fingers. No, I'm not doing it. If I'm going to do it, it's going to be with less paint in the scoop. I'm glad I did that. I've got another op option to do that over here. I'm not sure I can. I'm not sure I should have.
I guess I'm not going to feel too bad about that. I'm wondering if I can dribble it and if I should or I shouldn't and I'm going to try it anyway. All right. That gives me three minutes. I don't mind the marks. Might even continue and be more creative if I'm careful. And put a few marks in the center. That was risky. But some risks are worth taking. I'm really close. So I should tell you guys stuff, but you'll see most of it on the end screen anyway. And that is my email address is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. Should you want to contact me regarding the purchase of artworks? I don't know whether to put something on the end or not. Maybe not. But I think I can continue my, my risky business. As long as I can make it sort of integrated. That was that was a little dangerous. I like having used up most of my paint. I just don't want it to be brown. I don't mind bronze though. Alright, so that looks to me like I'm pretty close to being done. So whatever I haven't told you... Yep, that was a mistake. Oh well. I might be able to still clean that up with a Q-tip. Let's try. So I love you guys. You inspire me always. I hope you come again. I posted 10.15 am when I post. I've got one minute. <laughs> Please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. I think I have just enough time to try and shimmer this at you. It was never supposed to be absolutely symmetrical in any way, shape, or form, which is fortunate because it's certainly not that. I'm going to try and get up on my stool. Just knock my, my shoe right off my foot trying to get up there. So that's pretty cool. I like it. I will be torching. Oh, that's neat. That's really neat. I like it. Just in case there's a few spots, I'll probably touch them up, use a skewer to, to flatten out ends if I think I need to. But otherwise, I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Check my community board. Thank you for the comments that keep my morale boosted. Thank you for the donations that keep me working. The PayPal icon is on the bottom right-hand corner of the YouTube channel banner, and my Amazon link is a great place to shop and find my two books, Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities. Questions are welcome and encouraged. If you want to see anything of mine transposed onto objects or apparel, just let me know. I can add it to Spring the Gallerist. So this is the next day, and that painting is dry, and what you're looking at is my cell phone with the rendering of the digitally manipulated photograph that shows the dots. I'm not sure if you can zoom in or not. Probably not. So we're just going to add dots because I really like the way they looked. 
I'm going to try and adjust this so it's completely, so you can see everything. And focus again. There we go. Just to be sure. So I have a small, let's get rid of this. Let's bring that back again. <laughs> just so I have a reference. And that's going to go that way. I've got a little pan of colors. This is saffron, minus that chip. I don't probably think I need nearly as much as I just put in, but it's better to have a little more than not enough. That's the Indian spice. I was using this black, little black container but I think since I'm going to wash paint out, let's make sure that's not, yeah. Now what I found is, out of all the tools I looked at, to dot, I trimmed off some paintballs on skewers, and I have these little wooden chopsticks, which seem to be a really perfect solution for me. And so I'm going to use that. Although I might use the paintball skewer or skewers. And I thought I had more than one chopstick and I have another stick. So sticks, like so. I like them flat. You could use a dotting tool. So I'm not sure why this is <laughs> There we go. So that's where I'm starting and I'm going to give it, I'm going to use the gold. And that chopstick does seem to be the perfect. I find if I go every other one, then I have more control over the size of my dot. And generally speaking, they're more evenly distributed. And I'm hoping I'm not completely plugging your view. I'm not sure what to say while I dot. <laughs> I thought about putting some lines in too, and I didn't mind the way they looked. Let's see what's next. So that was gold, and now we're going to do black. And right below it too. And I do like the way that looks. And I did pick the right size. Now where else do I have black? I have black all the way down here. That's mead and black, but I think you could probably use any black. I like mead and black because it's the blackest black I know, but I don't like their jugs. But I'm sure if you ordered a smaller quantity than the size that I get, which is evidently the largest size, you'd probably be better off because the pumps tend to break on the ones on the largest ones. All right, so now I want some orange. And where did I put that? Over here. Right next to, oh, right next to that one, right below that one. I'm liking this so much better. <laughs> I really kind of want some jasmine. But I'm going to put some more orange down here before I decide to go on anywhere. If you have a lot of paint on your dot, you can always go back and steal a little paint. I think expecting dots to be uniform with fluid art is probably not something I would expect.
So over here I've got more black and more gold. I'm going to do the gold next. And this time to facilitate time I'm just going to try harder to skip every other one. And you could spread your dots out however you want. And I'm sure most people are probably fast forwarding through this part. And I'm trying to keep each color to a separate tool so I don't have to mess around. Alright, so that's most of everything that I had, with the exception of here and here. So I'm going to go back in and do... I find it was it's easier right now to just do, to follow along with what I already did that I liked, rather than mess around. And that was... that was gold. I thought about, like I said, I thought about doing lines, and I did some cr little cross lines, and maybe I will do that again, if I can make it work. Which at this point is down to me cutting the right width piece of acetate. Although, I'm not unhappy with the way that looks just all by its onesies. At all. So maybe we're done. Maybe we're done with the exception of do I really want to go without trying some jasmine? Let's try some jasmine. It's been since yesterday. I thought about blue too. And obviously you really don't need a whole lot of paint. And it's nice the paint is dry. It means I can put the dots on without a problem. I think I'm going to go over here. All the way to this end. Hopefully without flipping the painting off. Oh, that sounded funny. Well, at least it looks like the picture. A little less as I add jasmine, which I hope you know is a primary element. I'm going to keep going. Because I like dots and it's not hurting my feelings to add some color. I'm really still thinking about Maybe some uh, Royal Sapphire or blue. That one kind of got away from me. But there's no perfection here anyway. So Royal Sapphire or blue velvet. Let's do the Royal Sapphire. I think I'm going to like that. And we only require a little bit of it, although I will wipe this off. I'm trying to put this where I can see it. Yeah, hoping my head's not in the way the whole time. So what should I tell you guys? Did I tell you everything at the end of the last video? I don't remember. It was yesterday. <laughs> Sorry. Check out my playlist. There's 30. 30 with videos that are already to watch. 
and a 31st one. There's also a members playlist for those of you who can afford $9.99 a month to help the studio continue. You get access to, at this point in time, on this date, over 150 videos for members only. I kind of want some purple. I kind of want to put some purple in here, but I think I'm going to just have to be satisfied with what I've got because I like what I've got enough. Although, it is calling me. Do I dare? I'm going to dare. I like the shorter the shorter dots, so I might do a little bit of that elsewhere. I wasn't expecting to go sideways, but I really like it. Still kind of missing the blue, but I'm definitely not minding adding the odd rogue element. Alright, that's it from me. I'm pretty sure that's done, as done as I need it to be anyway. It's much more interesting for me. So we'll get rid of this and open my my flashlight and see if we can, oh yeah, there's some nice shimmer in there. And I'm going to carve out all of that little bit of residual paint in my dish and put it on my, my Lolafi silicone, silicone mat I keep across the way, creating skins for a future project. Yeah, I really like that with the dots. It's so much more interesting. And uh, I don't mind that I didn't do a line or two. Although I have a couple of lines, so I could I could probably still put one in there happily because that seems to be a space that's standing out. Maybe I'll put some dots in there. Maybe I won't. <laughs> if I put dots in there, they're going to be sour lemon with orange crush added. And I think that is going to happen. All right. I love you guys. I'm going to let you go for now, and I'll see you anon. My email address is on the end screen. Um, Anything else you need to know, you probably saw at the end of the other video. My paint pouring recipes are underneath. Show more in the video description. If you have questions, feel free to ask. I appreciate comments. They keep my morale boosted. I appreciate questions because I like to help you out. So, um, look for everything on the link tree. It's under the description at the beginning, including my Amazon link where you can find my two books. Because I can and unlimited possibilities. I love you guys. You inspire the heck out of me always. Bye for now. I'll see you and on maybe tomorrow at 10.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Love you. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves.